Hey, what's up again, everybody? I'm Clem Nebula, and welcome back to Mythos The Beginning. So, in the previous episode, we found out that um, this is an abandoned asylum for children, apparently, because there are many wheelchairs uh, sized as a child, and we found a note in which uh, there was quite a terrifying. Uh, uh, story about uh, a child, um, young boy that uh, uh, had to study <laughs> for this time very constricted by his teacher unless he would be like cut open by the, the master of the asylum then uh, nobody heard of him anymore so but right now let's continuing uh, because that happened like a uh, 20 years ago, I guess, and so now let's start to look for our three students that are lost in here. And so I think I got a key from the last time. Um, strangers, ah, okay, clues, I guess. I got office key. Doctor's office in the child's ward. Okay, so I think this is the the door, I guess. So in order to not to bother you so much, I think I will skip the. Uh, I will let you watch all the combats that happens every time, and so just showing you the all the new enemies that uh, are shown here and. The others then uh, cut the cut the battle, so maybe the videos will be more just about the complexion of the game. <coughs> okay, so I think we have to go here, maybe. No, that was the classroom and other monsters. Okay, so these are the other monsters. I will skip now. Okay. So I think maybe I could, I could like uh, defeat also this guy and then so I can have more XP. Okay, let's go. Okay. Let's have now six more XP. So I can maybe upgrade my character. My beloved detective Nebula. Okay, so let's go to the candle. Yes, maybe I'll throw them. Combat and maybe not stamina. Not that much agility. Okay. And maybe I have to rest, like if I can. No, I cannot because, of course, I don't have. Any left? <coughs> Sorry. Any left uh, XP? So I guess I have to. Okay. Okay. For now, I get a painkiller. <coughs> now let's go to the office then. So I think it was the entrance here. <coughs> Maybe somewhere around here in the cabinet. No. Office, office key. Good for us. Locked. And then we go in. Ready for another monstrosity to come at us. <coughs> okay. So this is a new monster, maybe? No, it was. I battled him last time, but I guess we have to fight now. Prepare for battle. Okay. Okay, so now we can rest at least. Maybe there's not a need uh, anyway. Okay, so there's a corpse and a diary covered book covered in blood. So maybe let's check, let's check here first. As a good detective would do in this case. The lost board is covered in stuff memos. One of them seemed to be of interest. John Pinkleton's wife is holding onto the spare wiring, wiring for you. The passcode is her birth date. 
Okay, so somebody want to help me. And uh, so I have to find out which is the date of birth of the lady that was trying to protect the, the kid I was talking about before. As a good parent would do. Find a blood stain diary on the floor. Okay, so let's see what it gets. Uh, supplies, clues. A diary written by one of the missing students. The pages appear to be soaked in blood. So, okay, let's see it then. June 16th, 1934. We have been toiling away in this godforsaken place for nearly five years now. And today we made a major breakthrough in our research. Simmons managed to pinpoint the date of the comet's passing to three Nazi hands. And we will finally be able to perform a summoning ritual. Okay, this is this ain't going very well so far. Our leader will make a pact with the old ones. We will rule over humanity. June 18th, 1934. Everything is prepared for the ritual tomorrow night. With the help of Simmons, I took the liberty of securing the flesh offering necessary to please the old ones. As this asylum has, has been abandoned for, for so long, we had to resort to unorthodox means to secure the ritual components. When it was operational, there were endless supplies of, it, of patients to harvest from. Despite this, uh, the streets of London made a suitable hunting ground, and nobody should think to look for the missing loved ones here at the Harborough Asylum. June 19th. It was an hour late to the summoning ritual due to being held up by a detective nosing, nosing around the campus. When I arrived, at, when I arrived at, at the asylum, I found it crawling with monsters. It is clear that the ritual succeeded, but something must have gone terribly wrong. As I couldn't find my colleagues, I stole the night watch and spare key. I didn't, I didn't get a chance to use it though, as I was attacked before I could reach the main entrance. I decided to get, take shelter in the juvenile ward until the monsters lose my scent and longer care to search for my colleagues and survival has become my main priority. June 20th The monsters entered the ward in the early hours of this morning, searching for me. I managed to trap one of them inside one of the cells and then I damaged the control. Okay. Pa control panel to prevent any of, the, of those creatures somehow finding a way to set it free again. Unfortunately, in the chaos I dropped the spare asylum key on the cell floor, so now I seem to, I seem to be stuck here. June 19, 20th night. I've hidden myself in the doctor's office, so I think I'm safe for the time being. Outside this room, the world is completely infested with those creatures. Surely someone will come and rescue me soon. The night watchman must have noticed that something is wrong. Even if he doesn't, the professor will certainly. The rest of the pages drenched in blood. Okay, I'm sorry for for your death, I guess. But uh, try to summoning the old ones isn't oh isn't is never a good idea. I mean, talking about the mythology be behind the, the old ones, there's uh, plenty of Lovecraft, Lovecraft tales about this, and. Uh, in order to control humanity, they're trying to find like uh, people uh, who uh, observe their um, the ancient ones that are these are like gods from the outer space and try to um, enslave all humanity before a return of return of from the city uh, under the water where Cthulhu, the main uh, ancient one, uh, sleeps uh, for now, and so. Maybe I could have joined you, like, <laughs> if you weren't there, I would have joined you, like, to do the summoning and the ritual, but you died too soon, and so I couldn't uh, participate to the party. Well, too bad for you, because now I will summon them for my own. And maybe killing them in the meantime. Killing their servants. Found a medical kit on the ground, okay. So, let's check these papers. To be, they appear to be old medical records. Um, I cannot. Okay, I can't investigate them. 
Okay, so apparently this guy is trying to help me, I guess. First of all, he wanted to be found and then... He, no, he couldn't left the note while he was dead, so... I don't know if it was him trying to help me, or... Maybe... Another thing. The desk has a nameplate reading Mrs. Pilkington. There's a numeric lock on one of the compartments. Okay, so I have to find out which is uh, her birth date. An, ordin an ornate wooden cabinet is here. One of the compartments is locked with a simple lock. Okay, so I can do anything, I guess. Because uh, all well, my talents, they're in, they're in like uh, opening chests and drawers. Okay, so here there's a door. Um, I can't check anything else here, so I guess I have to find a way to discover the date of birth of uh, The door is locked with a huge padlock, but it appears to be broken. If you could find some way to destroy it. Uh, perhaps with my gun? Can I mm, use my gun? Maybe... Of course, having uh, like a huge caliber gun uh, wouldn't help in doing so. Okay, so I think I need to find something to broke uh, to break the the padlock, the storage room. Okay. So moving on, I guess maybe we should check the corpse, the corpse also. That's <laughs> one of the, the many lessons uh, to be a perfect detective. Always look around and then the corpse fl corpse flust. His face is frozen in an expression of horror. The body looks. Uh, at least a day old. Okay, I can search in his pocket something. Okay. And the papers uh, won't help me. I guess, yep. And so let's go back and try. I don't really have nothing to like. Maybe I could use this. Let's try. So, um, okay, I know it doesn't do anything on its own, but uh, I mean, you have a hand and you could use it, I guess. So instead, I have to find something apparently. And so he talked about like uh, the the guy the, whose corpse is his. Um, talk about the watchman, but. <laughs> He didn't care at all that they were staying uh, there for three nights with nobody in it, and then uh, he didn't do he didn't do anything to like help them. But as you can see, <coughs> nobody gives a shit about others when they're in difficult situations. Okay. Um. So maybe there is something here, except from ah maybe a scalp. I could could use that. If I can actually pick it up. Okay, I can take it. Um. Okay, so I have to find a way. Maybe look in the cabinet. Bandage. Okay, useful. Um. Book. Ah, yeah, the Necronomium. I checked the, the last video. Um, if you didn't know what happened the, the last part, uh, go and find and check my video before part one because I'm still at the beginning of this game. Okay, so in this box there was something tiny silver padlock. Okay, so maybe I have to. Yes, yeah, something to see. Okay, so. I don't know, this was. Uh, this is just. Okay, I will read that later. Now I have to find. Uh, <coughs> maybe. I will find here where is. when is the. 
birth date, uh, date birth, uh, birth date, sorry, of the lady. Uh, okay. Uh, pa -pa -pa. Mrs. Pilkington. Okay, so, so she he talked about her here, but um, I didn't remember. I don't remember if there was a reference to her date of birth. Send them. Okay, later. Okay, here it is. Um, so I guess May is like three. 24, 1913. Okay. Okay, I try to remember that, but hopefully it was in that note because <laughs> I was scared that the, the, I had to find something else. But I checked all the rooms, and so I didn't. I don't know where. I didn't know where to find the, anything else. Okay, so now we can open this desk and I guess there will be like a silver um, a silver um, key, I guess. Okay, 24, 24. Um, maybe I have to just to put maybe 24 19 no okay because um, maybe oh three what did they say about that because I'm you know, I have to figure out uh, to convert like from the European calendar and then the American one I guess. Asker is her birth date. Hey, as I, I did see it before. Maybe twenty-four thirteen, I guess. Maybe. Yeah. No. Okay, so maybe twenty-four oh three thirteen. No. Okay, let's check it. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but. Maybe I'll pause it for a moment and then uh, when I have the, the solution I will tell you. Okay, I'm an idiot because I've <laughs> I really figured it out in like two minutes that uh, it was five, not three. So perhaps it is. Uh, May is not March. <laughs> Sorry for. Okay, so now should. No? Okay, so maybe. Oh five. Uh, no. Okay. So <laughs> one more time. Five twenty-four. No. Okay, maybe I, I I'm really an idiot. Okay. Oh five twenty-four. Thirteen. Is neither. Okay, maybe it's uh, 24, 05, 13. Okay, I'm sorry, but I have to check again the, the note. Okay. It's May 24. A ah, birth date, so I have to um, uh, minus thir minus thirty, I guess. So one more time. <laughs> now I, I think this is the this is it. So eighty three. Yes, finally. <laughs> Thanks for being here all this time, but I finally have a key. Yes, padlock. Yes. Thanks for telling me that this is the. That one, but I already figured out. Okay. So, what? Oh, oh, you startled me. I thought for a moment you were one of those creatures. <laughs> they haven't uh, like uh, much money to pay other voice actors or computer-generated voices, maybe. Okay. Who are you then? 
The name is Peter. Peter Hargraves. Now, who might you be? Well, I'm Nebula, so what are you doing here? Oh, nothing much. I'm just shopping around for any valuable trinkets left behind here. I'm an antiques dealer of sorts. Yeah? So, this is another place to shop around, right? So called Peter. You know what they say about this place, though, don't you? It's still full of stuff that hasn't been touched since the day it was closed down. So, have you found anything interesting? Nothing at all, if you count all those strange monsters that seem to be running around. Something's gone bad here, and I won't be sticking around to find out what. Anyway, unless you're as foolish as me, you've got a perfectly good reason why you're in this mess too. So, what's your story? Oh, hmm. Should I tell him, like, I'm looking for students, perhaps? I don't think it's, he saw them because um, a thief isn't supposed to be seen uh, by others, but uh, let's try it. Oh, wait a moment. I think I've heard of you. You're that one who handles all the creepy cases, aren't you? Even you must feel like you're in over your head right now. Yeah, that's me, and I have a gun also. Hmm. Well, in either case, I'm going to look for a way out of here. I don't want to get nicked by the watchman at the gate, so I'll have to wander around some more. I'd better be going. I don't want to stand here and chat while those monsters are on the prowl. Um... Okay, of course, good luck and, and bye. good luck to you, too. Go on, then. Okay, so... Nice to know that there's a guy walking around here. Okay, so we will try and find a way out. So, let's get back to business. Maybe I should save first. Maybe spend some EXP points. Okay, I don't have uh, enough to purchase stamina, but uh, sorry, there's a mosquito. Okay, so I'll just say then. Okay, so just a little more in order to find out what's in that box. So now there's something written on with blood. It says I'm not crazy. Chocolate is covered in blood. Who could have done this? Maybe another of the students, perhaps? Or maybe that Peter wasn't a thief, but he was uh, one of the patients of the asylum. Maybe. Yeah, let's check the box then. Okay, over here. There's a wooden box here. It's locked with a tiny silver padlock. Yes, I have it. I locked it with a padlock key. Find some electrical wire inside. This one I, I can. Okay, nothing else. So I can find try a way to open the door where these supposed monsters should be. Because he locked him in one of these doors. Okay, so let's use the electrical electri electri wire here. Okay. Investigate, examine, it closely. Okay, let's see what it has to say. There's a series of lights above the buttons. Another smaller light seems to indicate that button C is important. Perhaps the object is to only activate that one light. Uh, maybe. Or maybe to where it's where the monster is. Okay, let's try C. I have to find a way to. Okay, so I, have, I think I have to open them all, I guess. Okay, and uh, 
but how can I open it? Maybe with C. No. Looks like they're in season on the side of the mattress. Someone has hidden an, ob an object inside. Medical kit, okay. Thanks for hiding medical kits under mattress that won't use. Uh, completely useless for what's what you were supposed to do, I guess, here. Okay, so I guess I have to find out where the monster is. Okay, so I'll just keep head. Okay. Okay, thanks. Several novels. So, see, the seem, it seems like uh, everybody in the in this game has the same books. Several lines of novels. One over again. Okay, so I defeated the monster. Let's check the others, other doors. Okay, who is there? Yeah. Can see. Okay, hi there. It's nice to see another giant monster here. Triple twin attack. Okay. Um. Yep, okay. So, please don't crash. Okay, so, I should... Okay. Thanks. Yes, I know I'm dead, sorry. I wanted to protect myself, but... Okay, I have to do that again. Just a moment. Okay, I'm back here. Now this time, I should not be... Okay. Let's try one more time. Supplies. Painkillers. No, not Okay. Bleeding. Awesome. Okay, let's try this. Really need some. Um, yeah, medical kit. Stun shot. Oh, yes. Okay, so one more time. Stamina. Okay. 
So let's use another medkit and then let's try to finish this battle. Okay, please do not leave thanks. Fantastic. Oof. Asylum key on the enemy. Awesome. Oof. Okay, thank you. Thank God for like defeating him this time because uh, not really not only being done at puzzles but also combat. It's pretty okay, high wheelchair. Clamp. With the asylum key, I could light it with maybe the candle there. Uh, okay, so perhaps have to find something to light it up. Okay, now before I go anywhere else, I should s restore, spend the XP, increase attributes. Oh, 15 experience, wow. Stamina, one health, uh, combat, guts, and the uh, luck rune. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so okay, now that I have. Here, maybe suggest that we rest for wax P, yes. And then I think that's it for now. And so I hope you enjoyed that one. And uh, in the next video, I will proceed and discovering the mysteries behind these rituals and summonings. Maybe I will try to find the um, the other students maybe alive I hope so and try not also to be robbed by the thief so supposed thief Peter so I hope you like this video enjoyed it and uh, I hope to also very much to see you in the next one because we are going deeper and deeper in this insane amount of madness so remember if you can sleep the clowns are gonna eat the Good night, guys.